Hi guys, this video will explain to you a very easy way to finish your wood project with a rustic farmhouse finish. There's no woodworking finish experience needed for this process, yet this provides a very professional look in the end. I'm going to walk you through the three simple steps I took to complete this magnificent look. Before you begin the finish process, make sure you start with a natural smooth wood finish. All the materials and tools used in this project will be listed in the description below. Using a classic wood interior stain, place your base coat onto your piece. Stain works well as a base because it does a great job of soaking into the wood to provide a proper underlying coat. It's important to place a thick, generous coat that completely covers the entire piece. Focus on thoroughly covering exterior corners, any indents in the surface, and where knots occur in the wood grain. You'll see me using both a paintbrush and a rag to test how the wood receives the stain differently. Since this isn't a top coat, it doesn't matter which technique you use. Once you're done placing the base coat on, wait at least 12 hours to let dry before moving on to the next step. With one core of general purpose paint, cover your piece with a light coat. Depending on how much character or how rustic you want your piece to appear, it's okay if you don't fully cover every nook and corner of the piece. However, it is important to avoid showing brush strokes from the paint finish. Remember that the thicker the coat you put on, the more you'll need to sand off in the next step. Once the paint is brushed on, wait at least 12 hours for the paint to dry before moving on to the next step. Using a 320 grit sandpaper, lightly touch all surfaces of the piece. Focus on the outer edges of the piece as those areas will begin to reveal the darker stain first. While sanding the edges, you'll also want to touch the main surface to ensure you have a smooth finish. The more you sand, the more that stain will show from underneath. You can continue to sand until you're happy with the final look. Our final result is an authentic farmhouse style set of coffee and end tables. Again, this process is very simple while leaving the opportunity for your own personal touch and creativity from the nature of painting and sanding. This look works very well in so many different environments and I hope you try it out on one of your future projects. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more creative videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.